Hello, we are here at the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Washington. Today, we will introduce you to our vision of the OA Simple Technology, a point-of-care cost-effective solution for the future of individualized medicine. Growing up in Ethiopia, where HIV and AIDS is one of the leading causes of death, to me, this project holds a special importance in allowing us to create technology that will aid in the process of effective care for HIV-infected individuals. I'm working towards creating a method to efficiently isolate HIV viral RNA from infected plasma samples to enable downstream applications. My role is to develop a method that specifically captures HIV RNA from human blood samples. Common gold standards for extraction capture both HIV and non-HIV RNA. This process harms the sensitivity of the assay, especially in patients with low viral loads. Being able to capture only HIV RNA will improve the sensitivity of our whole LA. My role is to develop a molecular cycling mechanism to carry out amplification and ligation in OLA without any equipment. The only instrument preventing the use of OLA at the point of care is the thermocycler used in amplification and ligation. Our next point of care OLA device will enable amplification and ligation on a simple heating unit which will be integrated as part of a single small device. This will make OLA portable and completely equipment-free. My role in the OLA Simple project involves developing dry reagent platforms and methods for solid phase biochemical reactions. Currently, we've been able to produce dried reagents and tubes to eliminate the need for refrigerating test reagents. Building upon our present work, our vision for the future is to have reagents dried onto a small test cartridge, allowing the sample to flow from beginning to end without any user intervention. My role in the OLA Simple project is the development of DNA hybridization based methods to enable multiplex detection and paper based diagnostic. One of the key challenges in making a point of care nucleic acid test is that of multiplexation. What does that mean? Well, it means solving this. Using conventional paper-based detection techniques, we would be limited to detecting one mutation per device. Now, what if I told you that could all be reduced down to one device? This is multiplex detection. This would reduce the number of user steps needed to make a complete diagnosis while reducing the price down to less than $1 per mutation. Now that's what I call OLA simple. My role in the OLA project is to develop the microfluidic paper network that will enable the automated portable device to minimize user steps. To eliminate user steps in OLA, we will use a paper network that exploits wicking to control transfer between amplification, ligation, and detection in a sealed system. Imagine an inexpensive, simple device with just one user step that can perform a complex set of modules to determine not only resistance to certain treatment regimens, but also the viral load mutation. That is our goal.